Hello, everybody, and welcome back to God of High School, Season 1, Episode 9? Yeah, Season 1, Episode 9. Yay, thank you, God of High School up there. Um, so, uh, last episode... So, uh, sorry, I want to apologize for being late, first of all. Um, I wasn't feeling good during the last episodes of God of High School, so I've decided to record two kind of when they came out at the same time. So you're getting a double feature. So this episode will be up this morning at 7 a.m., um, and then the next episode will be up around 11 a.m., both Central Standard Time. Um, just that way I'm still caught up on my reactions. You guys get a double reaction feature, and new episode releases on Monday, so it'll be awesome. So, um, right now, oh, please, no, I hope this is not, like, lagging in actual production, because, like, I'm having computer issues, apparently, so. Um, last time, though... We had the whole episode with Jin thinking about his grandfather, and then um, uh, between Park and the tournament, Park Eo, and he was um, he. We found out that he was a um, like a lover of Jin Mori, or not Jin Mori, but Jin Tajin, his grandfather, uh, as his grandfather had originally helped him when he was a kid, and that's how he found his own fighting style. Then towards the end of the episode, we found out it's Jin Mori's birthday, and. I've noticed, like, this kind of thing where, like, all the friends get together, they have, like, a really happy moment, and then something dramatic and dark happens either before the tournament or it presents itself in the tournament. Last time it was Yumira, she's possibly being married, da uh, Han, and um, Jin saved her from that wedding, they all had a good time, and then Dawei was losing his friend and beat the crap out of Yumira. Now Jin and them and all celebrate his birthday, and at the end, his grandpa's going through something. So I'm like, I wonder if that's a reoccurring thing throughout this entire series. So, either way, we're going to just jump straight into it. Uh, if you guys need to keep along, I, again, I don't use audio for my videos to avoid copyright, as well as the video is kind of a little bit, um... Try to figure out where to place it so you guys can see it because there is transparency for the video. So I'm working on new location on that. So it's kind of like a work with me here this first new week. There's gonna be new things for all three of my shows, but uh, otherwise you'll be using Verve and Crunchyroll as a whole to keep up with the series legally and for a paid subscription series. That's not that much. So um, besides that, also too, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some other series on my channel. We have Final Space up on Fridays. And then we have Ruby Wednesdays for the rewatch series, where I'm rewatching the entire Ruby series up to Volume Seven, um, and so that all kind of starts fresh this week as we're jumping into Volume Four of Ruby, and then Final Space Season Two. We're getting near the finale, so let's do this. Kanchiro Originals. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention too at the end of the episode they the evil group Knox sent Jin Mori, a picture of his grandfather being captured and missing an arm. Do what you want. Yeah, now Jin Mori is heading to that location. They at least tell you, Mira and Don, about the tournament? Da. Day and Mira, jeez. Uh, it's not fair, because boy, he has trauma from losing his grandfather at a young age, so, so next thing you know, the next time he sees anything new about his grandfather, dude's dying. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right. Um, let's see here. Um, one second. Well, the opening's playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I love version 2 of this opening. This the fight scenes between it just seem to hit more. At first it was cool too because they were just like beating a whole bunch of fodder. But then like this one has the matches going on so it's pretty cool. I don't know how many um, episodes of God of High School we're actually getting though. Uh, I haven't Googled it or looked it up on purpose or anything, but I am looking forward to it. And then right around the corner is No Bless, which officially is set for October 5th, and I am majorly excited to be um, have that on the channel as a reaction series. Actually, with October coming around, is around the corner, so I, No Bless is one of my favorite webtoons I've read. Uh, I'll be your contradiction. Curse cornered. Big bang. Oh. <laughs> the Jeju team. Oh. I thought they were fighting like a good team. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He's not there. Oh, no. Yeah. Does that mean you Mira has to win by herself? <laughs> okay, so they just gotta stall the match, basically. There's no time limit, so... I'm like nervous they won't make it back in time, but he will. He will. They look like the same outfits of the Knox people, so like... I was he naked down the... I saw something like that coming when they said, ew. <laughs> He's a swimmer? Oh my gosh! Wasn't she like in love with those mu the muscles at the beginning? Well, I guess she wanted a successor. For now, it's now it's just like, no. <laughs> Is his grandpa in there? He is there. Uh, he's got oil. I really don't like this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? You can do that? I guess you can. No one's complaining. Uh... 
Oh, there's an evil who stole it. Yeah, it is Nox. Hers broke. Yeah, I can't handle that sword. What? Fight got serious. Okay. <gasps> Who the heck? Uh... Is that really her sword, though? Yeah, I don't think it's really her sword. I think they're trying to mess with her. Don't end it yet. Is that really her sword? Oh, wow. He's trying to get her mentally. Dang it. Already stinking. Oh my god, I thought that was like something wrong with the loading. That's just how it actually is right now. Okay. Okay, so there's just people there just being cheap. I should have known it, because his grandpa couldn't actually have been taken down, but of course that would hold that they would bother him with it. Jin's about to get up though, he's about to whoop you. Hmm. Yeah, so he is part of Knox. Yep. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Mm. Come on. They're all in fights right now.
Oho! Uh oh. Who is Jake Hall? Like, he's important and he's in the opening. What? He's actually afraid of him? Please hope one of the commissioners comes and helps him or something. You don't have a member of the six? What? Come on, Jin. What the crap? He needs help. The one in the tournament's a doppelganger. That's messed up. Oh, she's, he's about to tell him about Jin. Oh, no. Yeah, they knew about it. Of course he'd explain it. You can't. Please don't lose. It's her Cherik, or however you pronounce it. This is such a really good series.
<laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Is that the sword talking to her? Oh. Oh, hey, the thumbnail's finally coming into play. Oh, you are no longer seen. Oh, the handle changed colors, too. Lubu, that's sick. Ooh. Number 42. <laughs> oh, and it screamed. Oh, she beat him, though. <laughs> All right, what time for Jin to end this in, a, in an instant? He's pissed. You're right. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> He's laying out the smoke. You pissed off the tiger. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, those guys are evil anyway. There's no need to hold back. Blue dragon kick. That was cool. He did the exact same thing to the other guy. How are you still standing? Twin dragon, blue dragon kick. Twin blue dragon kick called it! I didn't even know if that was even the name or not. Ah, uh, that guy has some beef with someone else's grandpa. <laughs> God, my school, it just ends. <laughs> Alright, well, that was an amazing episode. Um, yeah, I could <laughs> The way that all went down from beginning to end was just like, what? So that was cool. Um, yeah, obviously... It was shown and explained. His grandfather was not actually in danger. His grandfather did lose an arm, it does look like, but it doesn't look like he seems to be in the danger that, like, we're being presented to think that he possibly is in. So, yeah, there's that. Um, and then there was the whole situation with the, um, 
with the fight for Yumira's sword. So that was pretty cool. She actually got her Chariuk and finally can unlock him and use him as a battle. It's Lu Bu, which I think would probably be like Lu Bu Wei. He seemed like one of the war people because from the uh, anime and manga Kingdom from like the Chinese history. So like that's how I'm thinking who that might end up, who that is, but I'm not entirely sure on that. So um, that is still like a to be seen thing. If <laughs> that was sick, Jin, he said... For one hour, I will feel nothing. Destroys the main, the main boss guy, destroys the evil guys. And then I hope he does explain that that team is all of fake contestants or whatever and how they're actually evil. So um, I hope that kind of unfolds next episode so we can see that. But now the tournament continues, and I think now it's going to be Jin Mori's team versus uh, the Park Iwa Inyo's team. So we'll get to see that. Uh, since this is a double feature, I want to get started right to the next episode. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your week as this is Monday and you still got a long week to go, but keep your head up high. Thank you, and peace out.